In this era of climate change, the great mountains and forests of the American West are now conjuring images of huge wildfires and crippling droughts. We've seen that. But that should never overshadow the sublime beauty. I love the word sublime. Sublime beauty and grandeur that has lured people since well before the founding of our country. CBS senior environmental correspondent, that's Ben Tracy, went to the Rocky Mountains of Colorado to contemplate what's at stake as our planet warms and what we can still save. There is a reason the Rocky Mountains are so often described as majestic. Their jagged peaks forming cathedrals in the sky, deferring only to the sun and clouds above. John Muir, the father of our national park system, once said, going to the mountains is like going home. Of course, this was home to the native people, and they're the ones that gave these mountains their name. Because from across the prairie, they said these look like distinctive rocks. The Rocky Mountains stretch for more than 3,000 miles through six states. Its spine so tough, it divides a continent, sending rivers flowing to oceans in two directions. Unprecedented wildfires fueled by climate change are ravaging the Rockies. Scientists say the forests here are burning more than at any point in the past 2,000 years. Three of the largest recorded wildfires in Colorado's history all took place in 2020, charring hundreds of thousands of acres. The summers here are now hotter than they used to be. In the winter, there's less snow. It's making everything here a whole lot drier. That's making the fires more destructive. In a new study, scientists say if the fires here continue at this pace, every forest in this region could be burned by the end of this century. Of course, the Rockies were formed by adversity, raised by the shifting earth and carved by glaciers. They have stood for tens of millions of years. John Muir liked to think of the mountains as home, which is why he also said, the mountains are calling and I must go. But if he were alive today, he might be surprised by what he finds when he gets here. For CBS Mornings, Ben Tracy in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. Thank you, Ben Tracy. We're gonna do more stories like that just to keep reminding people what's at stake and how important this is. Yes, yeah, that nature is out there. Yeah, for us. sure. I'm a Seattle guy. That's I consider right. myself a city slicker, but uh -huh. <laughs> I went to Nevada, Reno, and being in some remote areas of Nevada, I realized how much of this earth in nature that we need to protect. And I didn't mm -hmm. really get that message till I was 19, 20 years old. So I'm glad that we're doing stories like this because we need to hear this at a younger age. Yeah, well, for a long time, people thought like, oh, we're just little people. We can't hurt the big planet. But yeah, it turns out we can. Seems like we're consuming it. At yeah. a rapid I'm rate. thinking being a city slicker is a good thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. City slicker. <laughs> city slicker. He's a city slicker. <laughs> All right.